Hello everyone. Uh, I would like to introduce you to the format of the P Pearson test of English. So PTE stands for Pearson test of English and I will take you to the exam format of uh, Pearson test of English. And this, this presentation is from Hyderabad School of Learning and we are specialists in offering training for Pearson test of English both online and classroom. Now I will take you through the exact uh, format of the exam. So let us take a look at the modules that are available in PSN Test of English. So when you look at uh, the PSN Test of English, it uh, generally it uh, starts with a self-introduction. When you go to the exam center, first you would be advised to take uh, to speak about yourself. So that self-introduction maybe it could be close to sixty seconds. But of course, what you need to be aware of is that uh, this is not scoring. But uh, as part of the process, uh, one needs to talk about oneself. Of course, I will let you know how to, uh, uh, how and what to present about oneself a little later. So when it comes to the modules uh, in Pearson Test of English, there are four modules. Speaking, writing, reading and of course one can go for an optional break for 10 minutes and then uh, once you are done with the reading module, then you will head out for listening. When it comes to speaking module, there are five question types. And the time that is allocated for a speaking module could be around 30 minutes. Sometimes it could be more. It all depends upon the, upon the number of questions that one has. In each question type, of course, when we go into the specific details about speaking module, then I will expose you to what are those question types and all that. And once you are done with the speaking, then we have writing wherein you have only two question types. And the time that is allocated for the entire writing module could be around 40 to 60. If the question number or let's say if the question from these two question types if the number is more then more time if the number is less then less the time sorry if the number is more more the time when it comes to reading there are five question types and the time that is allocated for reading module is 30 to 40 minutes when it comes to reading module reading as a module it is tested and for um, maybe in the entire reading module, we have around five question types. And from these five question types, you may get around 15 or 16 or 17 or 18 or 19 or 20 questions. For the completion of all these question types, uh, you may be allowed around 30 minutes to 40 minutes. The time is more when the question number is more. Once you are done with the reading module, then you are allowed for taking a break for 10 minutes. That is optional though. Maybe if you are not interested or if you, don't want one, if you don't want to take a break, then you can head out for next module that is listening. In listening module, we have eight question types and the time that, you, that is allocated for listening module could be around 50 minutes. Next, I would like to take you through each of these modules and in detail, I will let you know what are those questions that we have and how the screen appears. Maybe coming to this slide, maybe you can look at what, what are those five question items. Speaking, we have got five question items, read aloud, repeat the sentence, describe image, read a lecture, answer short answer questions. Also, as a test taker, you need to be aware that Pearson test of English is a unique test in the sense when you perform in speaking, your performance in speaking can also impact your score in the other modules. So when you look at read aloud as a question item in speaking module, it can have an impact. Your performance can have an impact on your speaking score and also in reading. Whereas in repeat sentence, you would listen to a question or you would listen to a sentence and then you would repeat that sentence back into the microphone. Hence, there are two skills which are tested. Those are listening and speaking. Hence, the score actually gets added up to your speaking and also to listening. Whereas the describe image contributes only for speaking module. Whereas when it comes to retell the lecture, you would listen to your lecture for almost two minutes and then you would present the lecture back into the microphone. So here what are you doing? You are listening and then you are speaking back. Hence, this can impact both your speaking and also your listening. And coming to the last question item in speaking, we have uh, the question item by name answer short answer questions. In this question item, again, you would listen to your question and you would respond back into the microphone. Hence, what, so what you can understand here is there are two skills that are tested. One is listening and the other is speaking. Hence, your score actually gets added up to both speaking and listening. 
When it comes to writing, there are two question items. And of course, summarized written text is the one which actually adds up to your reading and also writing scores. How that is going to happen? Of course, I, when I speak to you about writing module in detail, I will let you know. When it comes to essay, it contributes only for writing module alone. And after that reading, there are five question items. And of course, when it comes to reading, the first four questions contribute only for reading, whereas the last question item, reading and writing, uh, that contributes both, both for reading and also for writing. When it comes to listening, there are eight question items among them. The first one, summarized spoken text contributes for listening and also for writing. Whereas multiple choice, multiple answers uh, contributes only for listening. Fill in the blanks contributes both for listening and also for writing. Highlight correct summary contributes for listening and reading. Multiple choice single answer contributes only for listening. Select missing word contributes only for listening. Highlight incorrect words contributes both for listening and also for reading. Write from dictation contributes both for listening and also for writing. As I said earlier, your exam starts with a self-introduction. Maybe you can speak about, uh, maybe as a, uh, the exam is actually both, uh, is, exam remains same. Or let's say the academic format of uh, Pearson Test of English. There is nothing called other formats, unlike other exams like in a um, IELTS. There is only one exam for all kinds of test takers. It could be students or it could be for immigration purpose, that is for PR, permanent residency applicants. So when it comes to self-introduction for students, maybe you can talk, uh, you can start with education, maybe you can speak about your highest qualification, maybe the place of study, where, where you have studied and then major along with the justification, what kind of major you have taken and also you can speak about why you have taken and of course when did you finish. And once you are done with the self-introduction, uh, I'm sorry, uh, when it comes to PSN, um, PR applicants, Maybe they can start with their education also. And apart from that, they can also talk about the job, whether it is in line with the education that they were done with and what is it and when did you start. Maybe you can also speak about the role description and how do you enjoy the assignment and why. Why do you want to take this PSN test of English and how do you want to settle down? Maybe you can speak in this format. Maybe when it comes to student, maybe you can always, um, maybe I'll give you a sample about um, how one can present about uh, self-introduction. Maybe first I would like to talk uh, for people who would like to go for higher education. Then I will present for people who would like to go for or who would like to apply for PR. When it comes to students, you can say, maybe I would like to assume myself as a graduate. Well, um, I am Ganesh Rinki. I was done with my bachelor's degree uh, from uh, Osman University. I was done with my master's uh, uh, bachelor's degree in uh, computer science. And this is my major because uh, I have a lot of interest in it towards uh, this major. So I took this course and I really enjoyed this course. Um, um, particularly, I, lot, I learned a lot from my teachers and also the infrastructure in the college was very good. So all this helped me to learn the basics of particularly in this domain. And I completed this course just a couple of years back. And now I would like to pursue my master's in one of the universities in Australia. And as part of the process, I need to clear a language test by an MPS and test of English. And once I clear this test, then I would like to apply for universities for admission into my master's. Then once I get admission, then I would like to move on. Maybe uh, along with that, right, um, maybe uh, when it comes to PR applicants, they can talk a little from what I spoke about uh, students and they can proceed with, um, you know, job in line with education. What is it? When did you start? Role description. How do you enjoy the assignment and all that? Now let's move on to speaking module. In speaking module, right, we have different, uh, different question items. So let's see what those are. As I said, and this presentation is from Hyderabad School of Learning. We are actually uh, global leaders in uh, Pearson Test of English training. So let's take a look at what are those question items in speaking module. There are five question categories. Read aloud is one category. Repeat the sentence. Describe image. Read a lecture. Answer short answers. And... As I said, in each question category, we may get more number of items. Read aloud, maybe the maximum items that you can see in the exam could be seven. Likewise, repeat the sentence, you may see around 12 items maximum. Describe images, maybe around six to seven. Rate a lecture, just three. Answer short answer questions could be around 10. So I will take you into what this question item means by. How the screen 
actually displays each of these questions when you sit in the exam hall. So let's come to the first question, which is called read aloud. When it comes to read aloud, uh, so you can see the instruction first. So the instruction reads as, look at the text below, and you'll be allowed 35 seconds to view the text. After that, the test taker needs to read this text aloud into the microphone as naturally and clearly as possible. One has 35 seconds to read the text aloud. So what this means by is, uh, right, you can see a text below. There is a paragraph, most human beings are awake, up to years. So this is basically a paragraph which has got maybe around three to four lines. So the moment you see this question on the screen, the screen allows you 35 seconds to look at the paragraph. And once you are done with the 35 seconds time, then so within that 35 seconds, you, you can view this graph as many times as you can. But once 35 seconds is over, then the screen allows you to or let me say, put it this way, maybe the microphone opens up and in, and then of course the time that is allocated for reading this um, text aloud is 35 seconds. So 35 seconds to view this paragraph and of course 35 seconds to present this paragraph or let's say you are allowed 35 seconds to read this paragraph aloud into the microphone. Imagine a scenario that uh, 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 Pearson test of English, uh, Pearson test of English uh, does not allow you to wait for more than three seconds. So you need the moment the screen allows you to present this paragraph into the microphone. In the first three seconds, you need to start this. Otherwise, the microphone gets closed. But of course, so though the exam permits you to speak for 35 seconds about this uh, paragraph, you don't have to wait for the completion of 35 seconds. Once you are done with this. Uh, question item it means once you read this paragraph out into the microphone then once you are done maybe in the first 20 or 25 seconds if you are done with um, reading this question item then you can move on to the next item because in the exam the screen allows you the next 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 button but there is nothing called previous button on the screen so this is how the screen uh, displays when it comes to read aloud question so this is the uh, screen wherein you can see beginning in 30 seconds what it means by is um, right, you have got actually another 30, 30 seconds. Actually, the time is 35 seconds to view this. So, the screen is going to allow you to present about this uh, paragraph um, in the next 35 seconds. That is what it means by. Now, you can see here. Now, recording bar starts. So, when this bar appears, don't wait for more than 3 seconds. As I said, if you wait for more than 3 seconds, then the microphone gets closed. So, it's important that, you know, one really understands the importance of you know, kick-starting this paragraph in the first few seconds itself. Maybe don't wait beyond two seconds. So once you read this aloud into the microphone, actually it gets captured. So this one question item. And these uh, read aloud question item, once you are done with this, maybe uh, again the screen displays another question item in the same fashion. So likewise, you may see around five, six or seven. So number, And each question item is separately timed. And the other question item in speaking is, repeat the sentence. In this question item, the moment this question appears on the screen, so what do you listen to? You would listen to a sentence from a presenter. So it means you would listen and then you would need to repeat the sentence as it is. So test taker needs to repeat the sentence exactly as he hears it. But of course, one also needs to remember that you can hear the sentence only once. And this is how the, right, the screen appears on the screen. So first you'll um, you know, you'll get you know, maybe the moment uh, this question appears on the screen, then you may you will have to wait for three to four seconds uh, for the audio to be released, and once that is done, immediately you will have to present about uh, this sentence, as it is of course. Here the sequence is very very important. And the other question item in speaking module is describe image. In this question item. You would see a diagram, a diagram on the screen. A diagram gets displayed on the screen. And of course, the moment you see a diagram on the screen, the screen allows you 25 seconds to look at the diagram. In that 25 seconds, you'll have to understand what is it about and what are the details contained in it. So for all that to understand, right, you are allowed 25 seconds. At the completion of 25 seconds, then you are allowed, your microphone also opens up and then you are allowed for 40 seconds to present about the diagram. So the kind of diagrams that you can get in the exam are graphs or it could be bar charts, it could be Venn diagram, 
pie charts, tables, flow charts, or life cycles, or pictures. Sometimes it could be a combination of a graph and a bar, a combination of a Venn or with other diagram, or it could be a combination of pie chart and graph. So this is how this you can see this question on the screen. So this is called describe image. So image means it could be any diagram. It could be a line, it could be a pie. So in this case here it is a pie chart. So in this case, so here uh, you see a diagram and of course so you can see at the bottom uh, current status. So it means what beginning in 19 seconds. But of course you are given actually 25 seconds to look at the diagram. So it means in another 25 seconds you would actually see the status of the screen to be like this. Now it says recording, which, mean, which means now you are supposed to speak about this diagram into the microphone. And the time that is allocated, please remember that that is just 40 seconds. So which means in 40 seconds you are supposed to present about this diagram into the microphone. But of course, for all techniques, right, you will have to be part of the training because as mentioned earlier, we are actually, Hyderabad School of Learning is, uh, uh, is a pioneer and of course he's a global leader in offering uh, training in PSN test of English, uh, both online and classroom. After this, let's take a look at the fourth question item in speaking, and that is retail lecture. In retail lecture, you will hear a lecture. And after listening to the lecture, in 10 seconds, please speak into the microphone and retell what you have just heard from the lecture in your own words. You will have 40 seconds to deliver about the topic. Sometimes you can also see a diagram on the screen which has some relationship with the audio topic. So let me give you some uh, details about this question item. When this question appears on the screen, sometimes you may see a diagram and sometimes you may not see a diagram. But a presenter uh, spends around two minutes, close to two minutes about a topic, which means a topic is presented to you and you would listen to the topic. And as you listen to the topic, you can make a note in the physical notepads that are supplied in the exam center. And at the completion of that lecture, then the screen allows you uh, ten, uh, maybe five to ten seconds to breathe in and breathe out. And at the, at the end of that, then the screen present, gives you or allows you 40 seconds to present or to retell the lecture back into the microphone. But of course here the intent is not about you know, repeating as it is. You can actually present the lecture or the topic in your own words. For all that to happen, you have just 40 seconds. So, which means you cannot, you need not present the entire lecture, only the main points. And of course, you can see the status here. The first one is, you know, the audio is playing. And of course, below that, you can see the current status, which means a recording status. So, at the completion of the audio file, so the status of the bar changes to a recording status. And then, of course, you will have to present about the retail lecture. Then, once you are done with that, then we, uh, uh, the screen takes you to short answer questions. And here, in this question item, you will hear a question and you need to give a simple and short answer. Often, one word or a few words is enough. So, in this question item, what happens, uh, a presenter presents you a question and you are supposed to give the answer just in a word. Sometimes, maybe it could be one or few words, but mostly one word answers. So this and the kind of you know, questions that can be asked in the exam could be like this. It could be direct questions like maybe what is the name of the sweet food made by bees? Or the other question type uh, recently that you can uh, find in the exam um, is this type, diagram based questions. So you will see a diagram and somebody will ask you a question related to the diagram. So you will have to present again one word answer even if it is diagram based. There could be another type of question by name multiple options. In this question item, they present you options and of course you'll have to pick up only one suitable option from the list. And that is the end of the speaking module. So we have, I guess you have understood what the question items are and what is the time that is allocated for each of these questions. And please remember, each question can remember, uh, repeat number of times in the sense, suppose when you take a short answer questions. So it's not just one question that we get, we may get around 10 questions. So once a question is presented, and of course the screen allows you to present the answer. And once you're done with it, then you can press click next button so that the screen takes you to the next screen. Now let's take a look at writing module and in writing module there are two tasks. 
let us see what those two tasks are when it comes to writing module there are two tasks by one by name summarize written text and the other is essay writing so i will let you know the details about the first question item in the first question item which is called this how the screen appears and this item question item is called summarize written text in this question item you can see at the bottom 10 minutes is the time that is allocated to us and on the left hand side you can also see the word count being displayed what it means by is you have a pa passage here so the exam says summarize written text what it means by is a text is already written there and you read it understand it and write the summary of this written text in your own words in the space provided there so i uh, write you can also see space to write the summary it means this is the place right below the passage and this is the place that you can use to write the summary and please remember you are supposed to write read understand and write the summary all should happen in 10 minutes time and the challenge of this question is you are supposed to write the summary just in a single sentence and there should not be any full stop in between and of course you can see the timer um, and also the word count uh, being displayed at the bottom as you write the sentence you can also see the word count being displayed that's an advantage so that you don't have to count how many words you have written and of course you might ask uh, you might get a doubt you know why word count here because the exam says you are not supposed to write more than 75 words and less than five words what it means by is the tool cannot recognize your answer as an answer if you write less than five words and more than 70 or 75 words as an answer so your answer has to be well within that but of course it's very difficult to write a, a sentence of 75 words but remember that is the maximum cap that the exam allows you to write but you should never think of writing a sentence of around 75 words my suggestion would be just write the summary in 30 to 40 words and of course to know more about these questions it is always better to be part of the training because wherein we supply you uh, beautiful techniques you know which would actually help you to get yourself aligned to the exam pa parameters of the exam or to get to yourself you know or let's say when you participate in the training sessions we will let you know what is that that you need to do what is that you know we do and how these techniques can actually help you to get yourself aligned to the assessment criteria of the PSN test of English and the other question item that we have in writing is essay writing in essay writing you will have 20 minutes to plan write and revise an essay about the topic below please be sure that only one question is given at a time and here you can see that there is a question by name some people say that written communication is better than oral communication do you agree or disagree with it and for this question you have 20 minutes at the bottom you can see on the right hand side 20 minutes being displayed and on the left hand side you can see what count as i said you are supposed to write the essay right you are supposed to read the question understand and then plan and write all should happen or in 20 minutes time and please remember you are supposed to build an essay of 200 words to 300 words only and if you write more than 300 or uh, 300 words or less than 200 words then you'll be penalized that's all about uh, essay writing to know the uh, to know more about let's say how to write an essay what are those essays that can be part of uh, PSN test of English right it's always advisable to be part of uh, uh, let's say wonderful training from Hyderabad School of Learning because we are experts in offering both online and classroom training and we have um, excellent track record we are specialists in offering training for PSN test of English and we have been in this um, uh, PSN test of English ever since PSN has introduced uh, this particular um, uh, test into the market so we have been dealing uh, dealing with you know, PSN test of English training for years together and we have an excellent track record our score speak volumes about our strength in this particular domain at the completion of writing module this screen takes you to reading module let's see what is part of reading module when it comes to reading module we have around 16 questions it could be 16 it could be 17 it could be 18 it could be 20 also more the time more the questions more the time but of course when it comes to the question items right you will see around five question categories and those are reading passage multiple choice single answer question wherein you might see definitely around two 
reading passage multiple choice more than one answer choice that is called multiple choice multiple answers and this is one area wherein we have negative marking and in this question also we will see around two questions minimum and then the other question item by name reorder the paragraph wherein we'll see around two questions the next fill in the blanks in this question item uh, right of course maybe i'll take you in detail a little later what is part of this question and how it looks like on the screen then we have something called read and write this is also called fill in the blanks but why it is called read and write this question actually contributes for other module that is writing so now if you look at my screen all right you can see that you know on the left hand side you can see 16 questions and on the right hand side i have displayed 30 minutes time which means that for you you have just 30 minutes for the completion of all 16 questions so there is nothing called each question you have time so each question you cannot take let's say uh, the screen does not allow you separate time so for the completion of all questions you have time hope it's clear to you so let's let me take you into the details of each question so when it comes to the first question it is called reading multiple choice single answer wherein on the left hand side you will see a passage on the right hand side you will see a question and followed by options so which means you are supposed to read this question uh, question let's say option uh, you are supposed to sorry you are supposed to read the passage and then pick up only one answer at the bottom you can see you are in the first question of of 16 questions which means the exam has given you 16 questions in reading and you are in the first question and on the right hand side you can see the time being displayed so this kind of questions you may see too but of course please remember that there is only one question related to one passage you will not see a second question related to the same passage maybe let us take a look at the other question item by name multiple choice multiple answers in this question category also you may see two questions so here on the left hand side you will see a passage on the right hand side you will see a question followed by options you will see more options in this case and of course you'll have to pick up more than one answer and this is the only one question item in the entire reading module which has got negative marking you might wonder what it means by in the exam Imagine Pearson test of English has fixed 1, 2 as the options. And if we click both 1 and 2, then you will get the full credit. But imagine you click only 1, then you will get partial credit. And if you click only one, 2, then you will get partial credit. But along with 1, 2, and you also click the third answer, third option, then what happens? For every wrong selection, there is negative marking. So what it means by is plus 2, minus 1. So ultimately, you will get only 1. But imagine a scenario that you click third and fourth, which are wrong actually, but you click those options. So which means you will get zero as the score. For every wrong selection, you will get minus marking. But the minimum score is zero. Now at the bottom, you can see that you are in the fourth question of 16 questions, which means, right, you have less time, which means, right, you have 12 more questions and you have just 24 minutes. So you will have to keep looking at the timer and also the number of the questions that you have or that are left with the next item is called reorder the paragraph which means as you all know a paragraph is a combination of sentences but here the sentences are broken or let us say the sent the sentences in a paragraph are actually jumbled on the left hand side you see all these sentences in a jumbled fashion so what you need to do is from the left side to the right side you are supposed to drag the sentence and leave it there so you don't write anything of course in the entire reading module either it is a drag or a click so what you would do is here in this case you are supposed to sequence the sentences in their order for example imagine that you know you feel that the second sentence has to come uh, as a first sentence so you can drag and put it on the right hand side so from the left side which is called source on the right side it is called target so from the left side you are supposed to drag a sentence and keep it on the right hand side for example now we can see in this case you felt that fourth sentence has to come as a first sentence so you have dragged and placed it on the top and you felt the first sentence has to come as a second sentence similarly if you feel second sentence has to come as a third sentence you drag and place it right after the second sentence so that is how you can pull from the source side to the target side from the left side to the right side you will drag and leave it so imagine that once you succeed in sequencing the sentences one after the other then it gives you the shape of a paragraph 
So this kind of questions. So in the exam, either you might see four boxes, three boxes, five boxes. It means it could be a three uh, sentences paragraph or four sentences paragraph or it could be five sentences paragraph also. The maximum is five sentences paragraph. So this kind of questions also you may see around two in the exam. Now let's take a look at you know the other question item by name read fill in the blanks reading module fill in the blanks in this question item as you can see there is a paragraph here on the screen and you have multiple options below and each option is representing uh, is represented in a small box so in the exam suppose there is a blank one an academic discipline is a branch of knowledge it incorporates expertise people, projects, communities. So imagine that you are convinced with the option incorporates. Then you can drag and place it there in the option. So once you drag that box into the blank, then you will no more see the same option in its place. So, but of course in the exam you will see more options and a few blanks. It means some of the options are not relevant. So this is actually called one question. Within a question, you have multiple points. Also, please remember, whatever that is right, you will get marks. For you to get points from this question item, not every, not all five need not be right, of course. Imagine that only three are correct from examination perspective. So, you will get three points from this question. So, as I said, this is called one question within which we have points. And this kind of questions, you will see around uh, three or four, sometimes five also. Uh, so definitely you can understand that, you know, this question carries a lot of weight towards your reading module. So you will have to ramp up. You will have to understand, you know, the techniques in order to crack your exam. And again, in the reading module, there is another question item by name, fill in the blanks. But this is again called read and write. You might wonder why this is called read and write. As I said earlier, Right, this question item contributes, though this is part of reading module, again, but if you can perform well in this question item, if you can get most of these questions right in this question item, then you can also expect some marks being added up to your writing module. So, this question cannot be taken lightly. So, in this question, what do you see? So, here you can see here, below is a text with the blanks, and when you click, and of course you can see there in the paragraph that there is a drop down. When you click on the drop down, you will see a list of choices appearing. And you'll have to pick up only one choice for each blank from the list of options that you find once you click on the drop down menu. So this is again called one question item. And within a question, as I said earlier, in the case of filling the blanks also, here also you'll see, right, there could be four blanks or five blanks. And whatever that is right, you will get points, which means we have partial credit for this question item. So for you to get points, uh, right, it's not a mandate that we need to get all questions, all bits right. So even if a two are right, you'll get points towards two, those two points. Sorry, you'll get points towards those two um, you know, correct responses. So again, in this question item also, you may see around four or five question category uh, questions in the exam. And the maximum could be maybe around five or six. So again, as I said, more the questions, more the time. And at the bottom now, we can see that you are in the 14th question of 16, which means you are left with two more questions in the exam. So you have just five minutes. So you'll have to ramp up. You'll have to speed up. So that's an indication. With this, you know, we are coming to an end of in a reading module. And then, of course, after reading module, as I said earlier, that the exam allows you to take a break. And you can use that break only for maybe to drink water. Just, you know, maybe you can sprinkle water on your face because you, after reading, you'll be heading out for listening. Now, at the completion of reading, right, all um, maybe mostly, right, the exam, uh, you might have taken the exam almost, you know, close to two hours. So definitely you feel exhausted. So it is always advisable to take a break for five minutes, drink water, fresh up, and then get back to your listening module. And listening module is the last module. This So sequence-wise, your exam starts with self-introduction, followed by speaking, then writing, then reading, and then you'll break for 10 minutes. And then, of course, you can come back and then attend listening module. So let's see what is available in the read, uh, listening module, right? Um, so le let's take a look at the question items that are available in the listening. So we have got around eight question items in this uh, module. So when it comes to the question items, those are called summarize spoken text, multiple choice, multiple answers, fill in the blanks, 
highlight correct summary, multiple choice single answer, select missing word, highlight incorrect words and write from dictation. Listening module actually is divided into two sections, section 1 and section 2. In section 1, you have only one question item and that is called summary spoken text. And this is separately timed. What it means by is, I will take you to the next screen now. So when it comes to summarize spoken text, in this question item, you will listen to an audio file. And the audio file length could be around 2 minutes. And while you listen to the audio file, audio file means uh, you would listen to a topic from a presenter. So a presenter presents the topic for close to 10 minutes, so 2 minutes. And while he presents, you can make a note in the physical notepads given in the exam center. And at the completion of the audio file, then the screen allows you 10 minutes to summarize the spoken text. So what it means by is, if you look at the question properly, summarize spoken text means text is spoken and please summarize the text that is spoken. So you are going to summarize in the sense, you are going to present uh, precisely whatever the topic that is presented to you. And here you will see the space. And this space, in this space you can write the summary. Maybe when you write the summary, it has to be in a particular, in a specific paragraph format. So when you write a paragraph, uh, definitely you will write sentences. So what you need to be aware of is that you will have to write a paragraph of uh, 50 words minimum and 70 words maximum. So the as I said, you know, 10 minutes is the maximum time for you to complete this task. And of course, as you write, you can also see the word count being displayed on the left hand side. The, and, and in the summarized spoken text, right, either you can see maybe when it comes to this one, once you are done with one question, again, the screen gives you one more question in the same. So which means another 10 minutes also. Now, for the rest of the listening, uh, maybe as I said earlier, right, when you go to this uh, uh, section 2, you have around 7 questions. And from these 7 question categories, you may see around 15 plus questions. And for all these, for the completion of all these 15 plus questions, you will have a specific time. That could be around 22 minutes plus. What it means by is, you will have to get done with all 16 or 15 or 17 questions in a stipulated time frame. I will show you how the screen looks like for the rest of the uh, listening module. See now you can see at the bottom you are in the first question of 15 questions for the rest of the questions and on the right hand side you can see the timer. So it means you have just 22 minutes for the completion of 15 questions. So let's see what this is. So this is called in you know, a multiple choice multiple answers. In this case you would listen to an audio file and then you will come back to the question and you look at options and you can click more than one answer choice. And as I told you, this question carries negative marking. Multiple choice, multiple answers, uh, this question carries negative marking. In the sense for any wrong selection, right, uh, you will get minus mark. So in this kind of question category, you may see two questions. Then the other question item is called fill in the blanks. And you can also please uh, make a note at the bottom. You are in the third question of 15 questions uh, in the listening module. And on the right, right hand side you can see the timer. So in this question you will hear a recording and then you will have to type missing words in each blank. What it means by is that you can see a paragraph here and of course you can also see some blanks. And as the audio is being is played while as you listen to the audio file, you will have to type the words in the blanks. So the audio helps you with the words. But of course, you have to be very keen in getting those words from the audio. And then you'll have to type those words in the blanks as you listen to. So again, whatever that is right, you'll get points. But of course, the exam is very particular about um, getting the word correct in spell wise. So you'll, you'll have to write the word you know, with the correct spell. Only then you'll get the point. Otherwise, you will not. So imagine that out of 5 bits, you got only 3 right, then you'll get 3 points. So there is nothing called negative marking in fill in the blanks. So you may see a second question in the, uh, in the same question category called fill in the blanks. Now let me take you to the other question, highlight the correct summary. In this question item, this is just like in a first, say, first uh, question item 
called summary spoken text but in summary spoken text you are writing the summary whereas in this question item you will listen to the audio file for close to 2 minutes and while you listen to the audio file you will make a note and at the end of the audio file uh, of course you can still see the options on the screen but uh, once the audio comes to an end then you will look at these options and these options are the summaries for the spoken text but here the advantage is what summaries are already given and you will have to simply highlight the one that matches the audio and this is the one item which can contribute for your reading module also because you are listening and reading and then you are clicking the answer hence your performance can impact your score in listening and also in reading so this kind of questions you can see too in the exam and then there is another question item by name multiple choice single answer what it means by is that you will see answers multiples but the you will have to pick up only one answer that is why it is called multiple choice single answer so in this question you will listen to your recording and answer the multiple choice question by selecting the correct response and please remember you cannot listen to the audio again and again only once so this kind of questions you can see too in the exam and of course you can pick up only one and there is nothing called negative marking in this question so it's always advisable to click one even if you are not sure of so in this question item also you will see two questions then there is a question item called select missing word in this question you will hear a recording at the end of the recording the last word or group of words has been replaced by a beep then you will have to select the correct correct option to complete the recording so i'll just give you a brief about you know what this question item is in this question item you would actually uh, the presenter gives you or the you will get to know what is the topic of this recording in advance in the sense well before you listen to the audio file itself so a context is given to us and about the same context somebody speaks for almost 30 to 45 seconds and at the end of the audio file the last word of the last sentence of the audio file is taken out it could be the last word of the last sentence or it could be a group of words also so those are actually taken out so in place of the last word of the last sentence right a beep sound you would listen to so it means when you know the context in the beginning and you will have to pick up a word which is um, relevant in that context so that's why it may, maybe we can call this a contextually relevant question item select missing word so in this question item also uh, right you may see two questions then the other question item by name highlight incorrect words in this question item you can see look at the paragraph below in this paragraph this is basically a transcription of a spoken text so in this somebody uh, reads out in the audio file you will see somebody reading out the same text maybe for example i will act as an audio and you are actually looking at the paragraph see the difference now water may contain pathogenic bacteria viruses protozoan parasites the major sources of um, such organisms are so here you will see organization but in the audio you listen to organisms so you will have to get your mouse close to the organization and click the word organization then the word organization gets highlighted it means you are going to highlight those words which are actually different from the audio likewise you may see around 3 4 5 or 7 words so you will have to be very careful and this is one of the question items which also has negative marking what it means by is that any wrong selection right you are going to be punished you will get minus marking for any wrong selection so you will have to be careful when you listen to the audio file hope you are clear you are going to highlight only those words which are actually different from the audio so this kind of question items you may see around two now right from dictation could be the last question item and this question item you can see you would listen to a sentence from a presenter it means a presenter presents you a sentence and you would li listen to it and uh, after listening to it then you have a space to write about the same sentence it means 
somebody dictates you a sentence and you will have to write the same sentence in the same sequence in the space provided. But of course, the exam gives you partial credit for whatever the words that you have ensured in the same sequence. So you will have to focus on positioning the words in their appropriate places. Only then you are given points. And of course, you also will have to ensure correct spell while you write the words in the same sequence in the same in the sentence. And of course, um, and also please remember at the bottom, you are in the 13th question of 15 questions and the timer shows two minutes. It means you have just, you know, two more minutes for the completion of the rest of the questions. So that is the end of uh, the modules. And for any other questions, for any kind of uh, guidance, all right, and in case you want to be part of uh, training from, uh, let's say, Hyderabad School of Learning, you are welcome to be part of it. And you can see the contact numbers here. You can always you know, go to our website, hyderabadschoolofflearning.com, for you know to know more about, uh, let's say, what we are and what is our track record when it comes to our test tickets. Um, we have got an excellent track record. Many of our test takers have got 90s, right, in different modules. Currently, we have got many people who you know, have got 90 out of 90. So, currently, we are leading in PSN Test of English training. Uh, we offer both online and classroom training. Thank you for listening to this, uh, right? And in case of any questions, please write to us. And we have our contact dis being displayed here. Thank you.